Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one is on the Pirate Tank Set and Separatist Shuttle from 2009, of course. So, on the front of the box, you have the Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and interesting clone trooper border from the time, of course, and picture of the set that comes within. And also, new Weakway pi or Weakway Pirates minifigs, well, new for the time, and also the three minifigs included, special edition, which indicated as an exclusive to, uh, I forget which uh, retailer, but whatever. And recommended ages 8 through 14, set number, oh wait, target exclusive, of course, but yeah. And then 8 through 14, set number 773453, has 372 pieces. And on the back of which, have the set in another position, and with two little features of it, the border again, and set number again, and add for three other sets from the time, like Hoth Echo Base, previously reviewed, and Separatist Shuttle, also in this review, and uh, Anakin's Y-Wing, which future throwback Thursday, of course, but yeah. Now onto the instruction manual, oh, which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back is out of Lego Club, add for the win on the online survey, and then add for some other sets from the time, including 10th anniversary sets and all the three mini things included. One feature of it, and a couple more features of it, and the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last steps. And so now on to the on all the meetings, which which are quite and there's quite a bit of them, of course. So from left to right, we which have what you're looking at one, but also two, a uh, generic battle droids, of course, which same as they've always been and. Also, a uh, battle droid pilot, which also the same as always. But next, and then we have Anakana Far, a witch, a witch with some quite nice torso printing, and all of which not only like printing, but whatever, but also headpiece, same as Greedo's, a witch, a witch. Good to see that used in this set, at least until Greedo in 2014, of course, but. If they, if he were made nowadays, I think he should be. He'd look a little bit better, of course. And next to us, we have Newt Gunray, which this and the 2011 Advent Calendar only times we've ever had to, uh, this one. But if he were remade now, I would expect to be a little bit better with some leg printings, of course. But yeah. And whereas for that face printing, of which. Uh, oops. As you see, you have, have little lines for pupils, of course, just about like in the show, like he does in the show, of course, and the uh, headdress bit of which, done quite nicely for that, too, but yeah. And next to which we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, Clone Wars version, which, which, which did come in a few other sets, of course from like 2008 until like 2012 or so, but at least good to see him in this one, but although he got a little bit repetitive for that, but not sure if it's for mine, but if this is for my copy of which, but all the few which came with the this silver lightsaber hilt, but year prior, they of which did have the like somewhat great or plain great lightsaber hilts, but yeah. And also for the hair piece of him, quite interesting for that. Would like to see that used uh, often nowadays in different colors, but I hope they do so eventually, but yeah. And next to which is Hondo Alama, which this is probably the only time we've ever had this character, which which I see holding the pirate sword piece and beanie cap, and also the, sh or pirate cap, actually, and also the shoulder bits to it which we often see in Castle and Pirates, of course, but interesting seeing it in Star Wars, of course, but yeah. But whereas for his face print to which with the goggles, also onto it, uh, done quite nicely. 
the end. Also, kind of odd how he, this, which was one of the only set, probably the only set that ever had him, but although did also appear in Star Wars Rebels, of course, but I do wish he should make a return in sets, of course, since quite a favorited character of Clone Wars, but yeah. And also, so last of which, we get a Turk Balzo, of course. Wait, as for Hondo, I the last name is actually Onaka, of course. But yeah, sorry if I missaid it, but whatever. But now to Turk Falzo, of course. Which, as you see, the uh, torso print and face prints done quite interestingly. And of course, holding the two small pistols or two revolver guns there. Kind of odd how it's used here in Star Wars, of course. And as for his uh, head printing, done all the way around. Of course, kind of like the recent Cloud City Lobot mini fig, of course, with his headpiece around, and although every other mini fig of which, all the mini figs here of which, three of which not at all any back torso print, two of which not at all any back any double side faces, but these two of which have do have that, and also back head printing showing their long ponytails and braided ponytails for both of which, so. Quite nice seeing that, so quite interesting prints to that. And if they if these were remade nowadays, then I would expect them to be this much good, but yeah. And so now that is it with all the mini fix. And now on to the separatist shuttle here, which quite interesting build of one. Which of which only time we've ever had this, well, at least we did have a kind of similar one of the with the other Phantom in Star Wars Rebels, of course, since of course in Star Wars Rebels this was found and been kinda of modded to be the other Phantom, of course, but yeah. And that's for the front bit of which, which, as he does have three uh, light blue studs, it's right there. It's probably for like outdoor viewing, of course. And if like flip open, then have a little cockpit area, of which to fit a figure to, and not at all any controls onto it, and in just that piece there. Also, would have been nice if there was a sticker or something to be put on there, of course. But yeah. Also, as I flip this up, and also this antenna bit to it, and, and also for the large wing fin back here is, can like flip that up, and goes right into it, and don't have to worry about it falling off of that. Quite nice for the use of that. And also, also of course, do get two of the uh, curved, jagged, curved slope pieces for that, so at least nice to see it in here, even though this has a lot of stickers to it, but of course. As for this wing fin here, it was built quite nicely, good use of snot on both sides, of course. Perfect symmetry, of course. And as for these leg bits of which, which are on three pivoting joints, and of course can like, uh, go underneath the when in flight mode, of course. And for the back side of which is, if you wonder what these little gears sticking out for, is if you turn them and it opens these back doors out. Also, like in the show, of course, and pull this one bit of plates out and you can fit a mini bag or two onto it. And also, good little bit of extra space to put just a couple of figs in there, of course, but yeah. This line, of course. So for its price point at the time, it was a, this was a quite good value for that, like playing it's not and yeah. So I guess that I guess although not sure why these front plates are in brown, but although I think uh probably black would have been quite all right, but whatever. Although what I'm not sure why is not at all any shooting feature. Or, or launching features to it. Not sure why, but maybe they just didn't think well at the time, but yeah. 
that is it with this separatist shuttle. <coughs> and now on to the pirate tank, which this was quite interesting vehicle that we've never seen a remake of ever. Which, as you can see, for the uh, brown and darkish tan colors, which kind of make it pirate uh, ship like, of course. So, and of course, we've often had different pirate themes over time, and at least interesting to see it here in Star Wars, of course. But and so now we're uh, to the front bit of it, which, as you can see, does have a couple of rounded plates on there, and of course. And also, of course, perfect symmetry throughout this whole set, which I and some do oftentimes like, of course, and and a whole lot of these going on, not sure why. And and also for this front area of it, that if you like, can get your finger onto it and shoot the uh, flip fire missiles out. Kind of interesting how that was. But if this were remade nowadays, I think. A fe this feature would be the same, but with Springle launchers, of course. Or maybe the newer stud shooters, of course. And whereas, oops. and for this middle section, which does have a little turret on top, with kind of the similar pieces for the flip fire missiles, of course but it doesn't shoot, of course. And of course, rest of which done quite nicely with all those, with a couple of curved slopes and jagged slopes there. And of course, enough sp little space to fit your Hondo mini fig in, of course. So, oh, hang on. Of course. Oh, and this extra little bit of it. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay, so for this middle bit of it, which does have some large plates and hinged plates, so also with some stickers on them, of course. Oh, whoops. And so, and if you wonder what this Technic bit here is for, is enough. One of the main features of it is press on it, and Turk pops out of it, kind of like that of the First Order transporter in Toy Fifteen, of course. So, I guess it's what got the inspiration for. But interesting, nice feature to it, of course. And onto the back part of it with these bottom uh, flaps here. Which do which have a couple of the like uh, harpoon pieces, probably acting as greebling, of course. And of course, one of those curved slopes there, good use, of interesting to see there. But yeah, and these large engine parts, which have the car hood and roof pieces on them, which with large sticker on them. So quite interestingly, how they're built with some nice snot techniques for that, of course. But yeah. And also for the back, which is a couple more springlet or flick fire missiles. Sorry, yeah, flick fire missiles there. So plenty of good firepower for this set, of course. And for the back part of which, which not very much going on, of course, but yeah. Now, for one other feature of it is that. Uh, hang on. That, as you can see, underneath, which may be a little bit barren, but if you notice the little Technic dish pieces here, which acting as little wheels to it, so it kind of gives it the little hovering effect, and they do, and it does roll play pretty well, so good for playability and so on. But yeah. And of course, if you remember that few sets in like 2015, 16, and I guess a little earlier than that, did have a similar feature to, the, to this, but with clearer 
uh, wheel pieces to it. So this is what got that started, of course. And hopefully it makes a return on some other uh, sets in the future, but yeah. And so now on to with the final verdict. So for my overall thoughts, I think these which are quite cool sets for the time, like this was interesting tanks like set and interesting shit that we never got to see any remakes of, well, even though Separate Shell, which in universe has been modded as the secondary Phantom in Star Wars Rebels, of course, but yeah. And of course, as for the minifigs included in both of which, Obi-Wan, of which kind of repetitive for the time bit, but but the rest of which quite interesting, even though might as well, you know, one of which not so exclusive for the times, but at least the Hondo and Turk of which it is quite great or neat figs to see here, but hope and do hope that they do appear in sets again in the future, but who knows, maybe time will tell, but yeah. And as for the size, is size and, and piece counts for the for the prices at the time. Well, quite good for what they were, of course, probably like twenty thirty dollars at the time. But even with that, said even the got pre plenty of good stuff for that. Well, they which kind of bit of signs at the times, but yeah. And so now, if any of y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.